my hero. Academic. So, so um, the first thing I want to talk about here is Red. I, right off the bat, I want your thoughts on this. As, as, nah, sorry. My voice. <laughs> Try again. Um, this whole chapter, I don't know about you, but this whole chapter felt like a JoJo fight to me. Just this whole this whole thing. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. So I will say that independently, I had a similar thought, but not the exact thought. So I did not think this whole fight felt like, or chapter felt like a JoJo fight, but I did think that the little fucking dude with the scouter, I think his ability felt like a stand ability for sure. I guess, let, let me explain my reason, right? Okay. This, this seemed like a completely different very different my hero gonna be a fight that we've seen in such a long time right because and this is one it's just why i think this chapter is really 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 good it's it's a mind it's, it's something that iraqi does a lot in dodo fight it's a mind game right so we see that this plan you know be debate essentially so they can review themselves right and then this whole exchange with him and monoma is just very very dodo <laughs> right Bruh, shut the fuck up. We're, I got a hype about my, my boy. <laughs> that shit was hype. I don't give a fuck what anyone says, man. Like, he's just standing there. Yeah, that was one fucking... I mean, this man just bleeds JoJo. He he belongs in JoJo. Let's be fucking real here. So, it's, <laughs> Like, did you not get, like, Dio confronting Jotaro vibes there? <laughs> it was. Like, bro, that was definitely... <laughs> that was definitely... Look at it! Just, <laughs> Bro, I'm so happy we're on the same page with this. I'm so happy. Bro, oh. it, it like, like you, you, you haven't read the manga, so but it, it, even that, like, it, 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 like oh my god, it really felt like JoJo vill- JoJo may MC meets a JoJo villain. Very JoJo conversation. I am telling but- you right now, you you look for it on my Facebook. One of these shots of Monoma is gonna be my fucking Facebook cover photo. Come come the next couple hours, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna like, cosplay who, this fucker. This chapter sealed it. I'm cosplaying him. Like, bro. Like, oh my god. For Jojo fans out there, Jojo crossed my hair to Demi right now. It's so good. Coach- like, I, Hero- like, what has Jojo done to me? I just love fucking posing, dude. <laughs> I, I really love what he's going for, though. It's a genius strategy. He's like, I'm gonna make him believe. That his teammates are in trouble, so that he glances in the direction, so we know where they are. So he, he you know, he had, um, he had, uh, I, I'm, I'm always so bad with names. Is it Shin, Shinso? That that is the mind, mind. Yeah. Guy? Okay. So he had Shinso so, yeah. do the, make a kia noise, and he had, you know, like, like, like all these things in all at once, basically to try to get like uh, Midoriya to look that direction. So I thought that was like really clever, and he's basically pulling the whole, you know villain monologue <laughs> to try to fucking get him off guard i just i love it it so fits his character and it's at the same time a smart strategy bro it's just so so I, I it's really it's really yeah, good but too, like, what if the kia just now was actually the work of shizo that would mean hmm. <laughs> bro like can you imagine can you imagine i i, I need it i need a a Jojo, I need it. Dude, I need it. Stroked out. Try again. I need a fan art with Monoma in Jojo. I need it. I, I do too. You know what? I might. Uh, all right, add it to the list of seventy things I need to get Utena to draw. Um, but like, you know, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm so distraught about the fact that like this man isn't in Jojo. <laughs> he needs to be. But um, it's just really, it's it, it just. You can tell Hirokoshi just got done reading part eight of JoJo or, or something, man. <laughs> he well, I mean, I'm, practically every mangaka of all time has it has been inspired by Araki's work. Like, you know, he's a fucking legend. Um, but here's what I want to talk about. Speaking of JoJo esque shit, right? These other quirks, you know, pretty simple, right? And I even like you see the 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 ones where it's explaining what the quirks are. It's like, all right, that's simple, that's simple. And then you get to this dude's quirk, and he gets, like, an entire half a page to himself, and it's like, here we go, here we go. This is interesting, and legitimately, I don't know, essentially, I had to think about it for a second, but essentially, like, you chuck, like, if you chuck something at someone, and it has an impact, he can make it have another impact. So the way I understood this was, let's say I picked up a rock and chucked it at your face, Thurman, 
And let's say, you know, you, you know, I pick up a rock, throw it at you. You, you're like, oh fuck. And then you hit it, you block it away from you. Right. And then when it's in midair, I can make it like jet to your face again, essentially. He, th- this ability. It's very unique. Other series sitting all, written all over. It was like a, it felt like a DBZ cross with one piece, cross with Jojo type thing. And, and it was a stand ability and a, like this is a standability. It kind of did feel like one. Well, the reason I, th- I it kind of stands out to me is that it seems like this seems a step a step up of like this doesn't seem as um like I'm trying to think of how to word this. It seems a little bit more complex than most of my hero uh, abilities. Wouldn't you agree? Like it's not to say it's complex, <laughs> but to say it's, it's just it, it requires like it's a lot more of a specific condition ability, right? So a lot of abilities is like I'm a frog and I can do frog things. I have acid. I can change size, you know what I mean? A lot of things are like, you can use it whenever. This guy's ability requires a very specific set of circumstances to happen, which is why it kind of threw me off and it seems a little bit different than other quirks because you have to have a very specific set of circumstances leading up to that ability. It's, a de- it's de- definitely, definitely a unique... I'm all for it. Yeah, oh no, it's interesting. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of interesting ways you can use it. Like, essentially, like I said, though, and I'm curious if you understood it in a different way or if, or if we're on the same page here. The way I understand it is, you know, something hits you and then you can just make it, make it hit him again. You know, so it's like, you know, like, like if you throw something, like, like oh, he'd be great at dodgeball. You know, just like, haha, I caught the ball. And then it just fucking leaves their hand and hits them again. <laughs> like, essentially, that's how I'm understanding it. He's, he can just basically add like another ping to something. It's very, it's an interesting, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely, know, definitely a unique power. Definitely something that, it was just, it's very Hirokoshi too, right? It's definitely, like, man, oh, God. It's so many, so many JoJo references. It's so chapter, <laughs> it's JoJo references. Oh, I'm so fucking ready, man. Oh, my God. I'm ready for more JoJo. I need it in my life. We should, we need you, to do JoJo uh, discussions. Fucking get some on the, mo- get some on the docket. Sorry, man, we gotta do some JoJo discussions. Uh, Jojo, uh, I'm wondering if you Jojo Leon. <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I'm sticking with the anime, man. It's too good. Anyway, um, so uh, so can so we talk you know, about on, this. Can we can we go into? Can we first mention the shade that was thrown at Bakugo by uh, I believe it's uh, I don't know if it's Jiro or the person next to Jiro who's basically like, oh, looks like Deku's gonna have to work harder than Bakugo. I was like, oof. <laughs> yeah, it was Jiro. Jiro said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, my my says that Midori has needs to move faster than Bakugo. So uh, uh, the wording on manga stream is uh, that would mean Midoriya will have to work even harder than Bakugo did. Oh, so she's just throwing mad shade. Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> and I was very shocked that again showing that Bakugo is a bit more he's maturing. He didn't fucking immediately blow up at that. So good shit there. Um, let's see here. So <laughs> so I guess it's confirmed here that um. Monoma, obviously, at the current moment, has borrowed slash stolen, I guess it's borrowed, has borrowed um, the poltergeist ability, right? Because he, that's how he's making shit float around him. Um, so that's interesting. Um, so so what, was it, so I'm assuming he's trained, because I, I recall, was it, he, he could only copy one ability at a time, or? I don't know the full extent. If I were to guess... It would be he can he, he can probably just have one at a time, but he has to like switch them out, and I think it has to do with touching the person. Yeah. Has so some... I assume if he wanted to like switch out abilities, he would have to just meet back up with his teammates and do a kind of like a tag, you know? Yeah. Um. Let's see here. So, but I don't know, man. Like, I'm I'm still interested. Up leading up to this battle, I was very curious on what would happen if Monoma tried to copy. Uh, Deku's quirk, but well, now we know we know that's not happening now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's going on? What's going on, Thurman? What's going on? What's your theory, <laughs> bro? So okay, so I have okay, I have a few theories, right? So one, which which I kind of makes sense, but I feel like I feel like there's a uh, actor because so it's confirmed that uh, All Might's master had like mm, oh, oh, same oh, dream. Oh, 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 yeah, had the same dream. But so here's we don't what's know interesting. Here's what's the, um, the, 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 the dream that she had, the dude said, it's not time yet. But remember, the one that Deku had, it was like, it's time. You know, so something's going on that she never experienced. So I'm assuming what happened was that dream kind of 
it it was like a uh like a uh lucid dream essentially that affected uh deku's uh ability and it's probably it's probably more so my first theory is it's either more amp than what what he originally thought right so something similar to that to where like uh you you do an ability right you and you want and you try to and you think it's not going to do as much damage as it does but it ends up doing more damage anyway that's my first theory. My so second I'm theory. I'm immediately say I don't think it's that, but uh, you know, good thing to mention it. I guess I don't think it's that at all. I think, I think something's going on with the quirk itself. Well, my second quirk, my second theory is, is that quirk lol. A, a, a fuck a blackbeard up in here. The blackbeard of my hero academia having two quirks. <laughs> a, a, a limiter has been put on the quirk, right? So it's like a a, a um, situation to where if he uses it. If like, like if he uses it to like a certain extent or to a certain percentage, it like combusts itself. Essentially, it's kind of like a. Uh, well, here's my of... problem with your theory. Okay, I don't believe that Deku would go like the highest percent he's gone up until now against fucking Monoma. <laughs> like well, he this doesn't is a have training to. Exercise. He doesn't have to. That's the thing. He doesn't have to. That's the thing. But but if you're saying it's that's a not, limiter, not, wouldn't that mean I'm saying, that it would I'm only saying, be I'm like saying a, I'm saying a limiter, a limiter as in as in when you try to do the I'm trying to think of a I'm trying to think of another series that that does this. I'm trying. It's uh, man, I'm trying to think. Well, see, I thought you were saying at like to to make sure he doesn't go above like a certain percentage. Is that not what? No, you meant? no, 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 not at all. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like. Something that prevents the act, like it's 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 activated, but something like a limiter in the sense of like it shuts it down if he to to a certain extent. If uh, I'm trying to think of something that that is similar to this, I, I think One Piece has something like this similar to this, but I can't, I can't Just keep remember. Keep trying to explain it, man. You were you, you just, stop trying to give up in the middle of the, you're explaining it. So essentially, what it is 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 that. Deku's Deku is obviously going to use a uh, flick, right? Mm-hmm. But using using the but it, the ability the quirk kind of imploded on itself before he can do that. So kind of like it's putting like a limiter on on the uh, on the self. Does that make sense? Okay, I don't I I don't think that's it at all. Personally, I think something's going on with the quirk itself. I think especially. Well, no one asked you. What? Well, no one asked you. Actually, yeah. The people, by clicking on this video, they asked both of us. Um, so I'd say, <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what's going on, uh, but I will say that I think with the, all of the kind of buildup that's going on with, like, you know, the younger brother and, and the dream and all for one feeling some weird shit, too, something specifically is happening with, with the quirk. I don't know if it's, like, evolving or what, but, like, I don't think it's a... What would be the purpose of a limiter? How would that fit into the story whatsoever? Explain, explain that. I don't know, but then it's a, Your it's theory a, is stupid. A, you can't... Don't you, why would you have a theory that... Oh, my God, Thurman. It's actually not that stupid. Oh, if I'm right, I'm... I'm no, your but, face Thurman, so far. What, what is the reasoning for the theory? Tell me, it has to make sense as to why would it happen. Things don't just happen for no reason. Because... He said it's not that time yet, so maybe. No, that you know. was what the fucking. That was what the other person's. I took. I know uh, that. I know that. I took that. I took that as in. <clears throat> it's for Deku's sake, but he still because you remember what he what the uh, what a uh, one for all brother said. That Deku is Deku's quirk is at the point to where it he he it's meeting the that uh criteria but he can he only at like i believe like 20 percent 30 percent so what i remember him saying was um we've long since reached the point of singularity uh so i took that as he was saying it's time to deku and he said it wasn't time yet for to the the previous master so i think i I know that it's the exact opposite i don't think it's a limiter i think something's awakening well, that was my first theory. Well, th- see, Thurman, he doesn't like to use his brain, so he he just throws out theories for no reason without actually considering. That was my plot. first. Copy and pasted my first theory. He's like, "That's not it." What? 
No. Yes. Yes. I literally said it's something. It's 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 going to use more power than what Deku initially thought. Oh. And then well, you, I, you, I, thought, you, I, thought I, you, I literally I thought said that. Theory was literally just he accidentally used more power. I thought that was the entirety. You, you worded that horribly. Well, well, that's not the case. So you just repeated what I said. W. Right. Um. I love you, bro. Just, man. Sometimes, man, communication with you. <laughs> All right. But anyway, um, what spear? The I like the black spear. I think that's dope. The black Very what? Good. The, the black sphere or the black, whatever the black shit is. The black sphere. What are you talking about? The black. Uh, oh, you mean oh, the, there the, 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 what's happening? At, that, 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 I would not describe it as a sphere at all. It's just lines. Or, oh my god, Thurman, you're in a fucking mess today. And he did though. What are you talking about? I heard black oh. sphere, and I was imagining like a fucking like floating black ball somewhere. Like, did someone? Shoot that's black not. That's sphere? not what. That's not what I meant. I was thinking about another series, but I was trying to. It was. It was one of those. Uh. Wrong words for the wrong situations. Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sift through this one. This one needs some hardcore editing. My God, uh, <laughs> this needs to be edited. This is bad. This is very bad. Um, let's see. <laughs> I think it's. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks really cool. I'm excited to see what's going on here. Um, uh, yeah, I've been completely thrown off here. Um. Oh yeah, so uh, I guess so. Yeah, we have the the poltergeist was revealed to be like she can move shit around, which that wasn't actually exactly what I thought. I was I was wondering what that was gonna be. I had theories like you know no clip. I had theories like you know like literally she'd like kind of go ghost like Danny Phantom style, like you thought or at least you joked about. But um, yeah, I like it. It's it's simple. It's really just like oh she can basically telekinesis. Which is interesting. And I, um, and I first I had to think, okay, how is this different from Uraraka? And then it's like, Uraraka literally just removes gravity, whereas she can kind of control the stuff. But Uraraka is more powerful with less precise, because Uraraka can make things like those big-ass robots have no gravity, whereas she, um, this ghost girl, can only move stuff around the size of a person. So that's pretty interesting. And then, of course, she had the well, size I, chain. What? I, I thought, at first I thought her her ability was going to be something like a, like a, because Poltergeists are kind of like, stuff that like unfortunate events that happen or mm. like ghost something so i thought she was gonna like she could like make someone very unlucky just by touching them or something uh, like that yeah there's some, actually like, i know there's a there's a there's a devil fruit user like that in one of the one piece movies isn't there <laughs> i don't know oh i i assumed you had seen all the one piece movies no i, I like anime movies but i can see don't they're usually more of like a oh hey of this series I like. I'll watch it while I'm eating popcorn. I'm a born Canon master race. It's but, <laughs> but like, for example, filler. like the like, Dragon Ball, like Ball Super movie. I'm going to watch that in theaters. Da, you know, da, cool. da. Okay. Um, Still haven't watched. get ready for that Broly hype. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used, just used as kid fucking shows up. Solos fucking. <laughs> As a as a Dragon Ball fan, I'm just gonna enjoy it for what it is. I know I'm just messing with you. Um, okay, but yeah, and then of course you have the size changing guy, which is that's a cool ability. In fact, you want to talk JoJo vibes? Isn't that like um? I know, I know you're not watching the anime of JoJo Part Five, but like that was like what was just recently animated was the the battle with the dude who could change his size. Do you remember? Do you remember that one? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, like JoJo vibes all around this episode, honestly. Episode chapter, honestly. Um, so man, man, I don't know what the, what your coach is trying to do with this team, Manetta. Like, yeah, Manetta. Like, he well, he's using his. I know the internet likes to uh, make fun of uh, the thing he's using now because, like, say it looks like butt plug or like anal beads. Anal mm -hmm. beads. That's what it is. You know, have you ever seen that meme? No, I haven't seen the meme yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, like, what he's using right now, like, it kind of looks a little bit like anal beads, <laughs> you know, because it's a bunch of balls on a string. So, maybe you can explain this to me. What was involved with the, was he, was it a, so, was it a, That like was a... his way of, of basically, he, he can, to, if, if he has, like, a huge string with, like, a bunch of sticky shit on it, he can, like, if anyone runs into it, he'll be like, oh, someone's on it, you know? 
Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah, um, and uh, and then of course it was it was uh, stuck to or something. One of the things that um the ghost girl like telekinesis over there stuck on it. So yeah, um, but yeah, honestly, besides the hype for my boy um fucking Monoma, honestly, we just got a couple more clarifications of quirks. I'm still I, I'm excited mm-hmm. that maybe plot shit's happening, right? Because I gotta be honest, this arc has been a little slow, and it's fun, but like. <laughs> I just really want to get back to like some plot. I, I gotta be honest. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Bring back gentle. <laughs> Bring Wait, back fucking gentle, gentle was amazing. Bring back gentle. Gen- Bring dude, back. I was going. I went back and reread some of the gentle <laughs> stuff. It literally almost makes me cry. Some of that shit. Bro, I'll, I'm just I'm just waiting for you know how Crash went out a Nintendo company for yelling. I'm waiting for Red <laughs> to go to go go go. Here I call he lives. Yo, I find uh, his fucking address. <laughs> like, bring back gentle, bring back gentle. <laughs> Honestly, I can though, see it. I should. <laughs> it needs I to can be see said. It. <laughs> God, fucking like that's. I'm just saying, man. I have I have this vibe that Horikoshi is a little bit tired right now. Like, I I think he needs a break. Because, like, it just hasn't, like, pacing, writing, characters, none of it's felt the same since, since the gen. Like, it's not bad, but it's just, like, everything feels slower. None of, no, nothing feels, like, as clever as it was back then. Like, it, it almost felt like that was, like, the last arc that he truly planned for, and then it's like, what do I do now? You know what I mean? Oh, so he's playing a promise Neverland. No, not to say that he's bad, you know, because this he's still a good author, so he can, like, he can kind of come up with shit off the fly, because he's a good author, right? Um, but don't, doesn't it feel like just something feels different ever since the end of the gentle arc? Mm, no, not really. I mean, it feels the same. Disagree. I mean, it feels the same. I mean, <laughs> you, I mean, honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I, I don't feel like I, I do agree with you that he probably does need a break because I, you can notice the shift. But you know, after you know the Togashi thing. You, well, it, to me, it I mean, like I don't he, think he double feels like he's stalling for time with the pacing. Well, I think right now it's because of the. I mean, honestly speaking, he doesn't really worry about the Almighty Axe. I mean, his series is one of the best selling series right now. Well, exactly. Around- he doesn't have to. But like again, I just. I think one of Horikoshi's greatest strengths is character stuff, right? So like, he got me on the edge of my fucking seat because he made me care about Gentle and Labrava like immediately so like that scene where they're about to get arrested and they're hugging each other because they know they're about to get separated and they mean that much to each other that shit makes me cry almost every time and i just i miss that and i guess there's nothing wrong with this because i've uh, trust me i have always been one that loves the like oh let's chill out and hang out at the school for a while but typically that amounts to like you know three to five chapters and then that's a good amount and then you get back to plot it's just i think this is just a little bit long I don't know. I, I just I, I'm I'm craving yeah, I mean, what. I mean, it's, understand, it's understandable. I understand. Like, I do uh, love, I, like trust me. I like what's happening. I really do. I'm just and, and I'm also will admit that what I'm saying is a little bit hip, hip, uh, hypocritical because I wanted you know all these B class people to be fleshed out, but at the same time it's like I'm dying over here. Like I just I, I crave the plot, man. I, I just want some plot back. So I think what it comes down to is I'd like kind of a good mixture of like flashes back to plot than this. So like if he did a bit more like um like okay, here's a good example, right? What if like the endeavor stuff was happening at a similar time as this, right? So like he could flash back to updates with endeavor and hawks and then back to this. And like just to kind of like something to like, oh okay, keep us, I don't know. Maybe I I just I just think that like all this long without any big like plot thing happening is like a little bit mind numbing because I do like light slice of life, but I also like slice of life. This is why JoJo slice of life is my favorite. Part four slice of life was great because it was like it, there was slice of life and there was going to school and shit. But every episode there was some crazy shit going on. You know what I mean? Like like I guess that's kind of yeah. what I crave at this point. See, I think JoJo just this this consumed you. Uh, no, it's just a good example of good slice of life. Part four, anyway. <laughs> Because I wouldn't call part five slice of life. <laughs> They're just kind of part five almost goes back to the part three uh, aesthetic of traveling around. At least so far, they just went. You know, they went across the fucking sea to a 
different area. Either way, I just am ready for some more plot. I was, I'm, uh, that's that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> yeah, understandable. <laughs> but at least I got my boy Monoma. Because again, the strength of this series is its character. Its character. And the best that, that it's the same thing I said about Doctor Stone. Best thing about these all of these series is characters, and the they're just so good. So like, even though it's a bit slow, I enjoy seeing their antics every week, especially my boy Monoma. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess I- I'm excited because I think maybe this is like the plot kickstart that I've been waiting for. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, I'm- hashtag, fr- hashtag free gentle, hashtag free gentle. Bring back gentle. Bring Free back him gentle. from his prison. He does not deserve to be there. Reunite him with his lolly waifu. By the yes. way, I checked. She's just really short. Apparently she's like super legal, so it's okay. They, they super legal. Years. What's what's super legal? Forty years old? <laughs> no, not su- just legal. <laughs> super legal, bro. Well, well, well okay, because like you say something super legal, that's like fucking age fifty. I just I just put the word super for everything. I'm Frankie up in this bitch, okay? Like, I'm, <laughs> it's not super. You didn't even do the super. Are you gleaming? Are you gleaming? Out, Dude, out, I'm out imagining. The- okay, now I need a fucking comic where like Sanji is like asking Frankie, like like Sanji's scoping up some women, and he's like Frankie. I need you to use your robot technology and check if they're legal. And then he's like, don't worry, Saji. They're super legal. <laughs> and he's like, are, 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 you, are your nipples <laughs> beaming right now? Like, he's I need you to look at your shirt and let me know if your nipples are like, bing, like uh, lasers. No, they're just inverted. Fun fact, I Damn. have inverted nipples. I didn't even know that was a weird thing until I saw it was a tag on hentai. And I was like, oh, I've just always had those. <laughs> I've just always had those weird I things. I just thought it was because I was fat, you know, because they just sink in. It's really weird. I feel you on that one. <laughs> um, good, good, good talk, man. Good talk. All right, but no, but seriously though, like, um, what was I saying? No, but last thing I'll say because Gentle's best boy, and I always say, it, uh, because there was that like flashback of her in high school, so she's definitely like legal because that was a flashback. So she's just a short girl. So I felt really good because I never, there was this like oh, complex thing where I felt weird because like uh, uh, the whole arc, LaBrava was like, I love you gentle. And I was like, are we talking platonic love, fan love, relationship love? I don't know where to go with this, <laughs> you know? So it was, it was interesting. I didn't know, but I think that almost added to why I loved that because like their relationship, I didn't know how to feel about it. Like it was very complex where I was like, they, they're clearly very close. But it's like one of those awkward, like, you're a fan of mine. And, you know, like, number one rule of a, being a creator is don't fuck your fans, you know? Mm-hmm. Ask Tobuscus about that one. Uh, he, you know, got him into some trouble. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I could just see, like... But at the same time, what I loved about... Yeah, we're, this is a fucking gentle criminal appreciation session. We weren't reviewing it when gentle is happening, so sit your ass down and listen to me talk about gentle. Um, what was great about that is that, like... It was this very interesting dynamic because Gentle is at the point where he wasn't like famous enough to be that kind of like creator where he's like, I don't care about my fans, get away. Like, you know what I mean? He had like less than a hundred subscribers. He had like no, like almost no views. You know, that was kind of the point he was at, right? So when a fucking person knocks at his door and is like, like, I love you, I love your videos, they they got me, literally stopped her from killing herself. Gentle's still at that point where he's not gonna like. You know, he's not going to do the technically smart thing, which would be to turn her away at the door. You know, I can't hang out with you. That'd be weird. No, he's going to be a normal fucking dude, a normal, good hearted dude and bring her in and, and be loving and kind to her. And, you know, there's the things like, I don't know if you remember this, her, her fucking eyeshadow didn't come off. Like her eyeshadow stained her eyes and she felt mm-hmm. like self-conscious about that. So he took a fucking permanent marker and drew fucking rings around his eyes. And that's why he looks like that. He did that to make her feel comfortable. And he made that, like, their thing. And, like, just so many little things that made, like, oh, my God, Gentle is the purest fucker in the world. Like, and, and, <laughs> I'm getting emotional. I love this man. <laughs> Gentle Criminal is my favorite goddamn character in this series. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, boy. I even remember when he, when he first, like, first three chapters he was in, I was like, he's top three already. He's top three already. And then he fucking shot right up. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm getting emotional. I got to reread those. 
All right. All right. <laughs> Final thought? I'm hoping. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever the fuck's going on with All for One. You got any final thoughts, David? Same as you, man. All for One shit. I'm hoping uh, we get some uh, some good shit. Mm, this is going to need some heavy editing. <laughs> so, just, don't worry. You're not missing anything, audience. It's just uh, all of the fuckery. Like, there was some not interesting fuckery in this one. Uh, so, with that, peace. Peace.